What is going on YouTube? This is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So before I get into today's GTA Online video, I'm just going to point out that I did find my webcam. Um, I just have to, I'm sitting on a tripod right now. I When I hooked it up, it wasn't registering that it was hooked up, so I have to mess around with the settings on my computer in order to, um, find, in order to get the picture. Um... But in today's GT Online video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make the California State Police car. Now, with this car, you're just going to need to use the standard um, police cruiser that you can get from the new Chop Shop update. You might recognize this paint job, and this is the one that I used to make the Massachusetts State Police. The light blue and dark blue paint job. Okay, I almost just rolled it over a car. So. Um, but this is basically the car you're going to want to get. It can be purchased from Warstock Cash and Carry. So you just bring up your phone menu. Warstock Cash and Carry. And it will be in the second row down. Underneath the new Park Ranger. Uh, it costs three million five hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred dollars, so it's pretty expensive. And the only way to access it um, is, or the only way to get it is to complete one of the side quests at the chop shop. We have to scope out Mission Rose Police Station. And in the description, you'll get this note that says, "Please note this vehicle can only be modified in properties you own." So you can't go to Los Angeles Customs or any place like that. You actually have to go to one of your own properties. So that's why we are going to be going over to my agency. And we are going to be customizing it over there. So. Now really the only things we need to change are maybe the paint job. And the lights. But that, that's pretty much it. Most police, most state police cars are pretty much the same thing. Um, all they are is just different paint jobs. Um, let's and I, even though logo is different in the game, we only have one logo, which stinks, but it's whatever it is. So, I'm hoping eventually Rockstar Games will be able to put viable police uniforms and FBI FBI uniforms into their or into the game. I mean, they have the firefighters up, the firefighters outfit, along with the prison guards, so they should have, like, paramedics and other things like that, so. But we'll see. So there's actually a lot, real quick, there's a lot of other movie cars in here. You have the Nissan 350Z from Tokyo Drift, an S10 that I built, my Resilient Isles under, unmarked police car, a Porsche. This car is from LA's finest. You have my one car and my two dirt bikes. And this one is one of my men black cars. I was looking for that one. So, but basically, now that we're in the agency garage, just press right on the D pad to activate vehicle workshop. Now, it's the same standard with any other car. Armor upgrade, you're just gonna write down the list. Uh, armor upgrade 100%, this can be unlocked at rank 100, and it's gonna cost you roughly 100,000, no, 40 to 50,000 um, dollars. Brakes, race brakes, 30, 30 to 35,000. Engine upgrade, EMS upgrade level four, 25 to 40,000 dollars. Lights. I have these Xeon headlights. Um, these are going to cost you like, I want to say maybe a grand or more. And can be unlocked at rank 21. Now, the library you're going to need to choose is the LS State Trooper, which is number 7 out of 26. It's going to cost you around $24,000. Um. Now, police equipment. So, 
So, there are, so the police equipment is the aerials, the searchlights, the emergency lighting, and the push bar. For the aerials, you don't want to have any aerials on the car. So that's going to cost you $1,800 to remove. The searchlights, you do want to have dual searchlights. Um, but we're going to have uh, this one here, the driver's side raised one, because that's really the only one we need. Emergency lighting. So this is going to be the lights on top and the grill guard and the windows. So for that one, you only have two options. You can have this one that's bulky, or you can have this one that's actually flat. You're going to want to use this one. Custom Emergency Lighting 2. It's going to cost you $1,000. And the push bar. Uh, you want to go, want to go with the... Mm -hmm. We're going to go with the interceptor push bar. Either the interceptor or the... Where is it? Or this one here, the response push bar, which is what is on, on it right now. So I'm going to go with the interceptor one. Um, now to, now to respray the car, classic paint, go all the way down. Then you'll find two options, ice white and frost white. We're going to go with the frost white. This will make, let the, where it's a state trooper shine a little bit more. This is why I wish you could change the color of the decals. So, um, let's see. Suspension, just your stock suspension. Transmission, race transmission. This is going to cost you forty to fifty thousand dollars. Turbo is going to cost you fifty thousand dollars as well, and this can be unlocked at rank one hundred or rank nineteen, something like that. Wheel type. Stock wheels, they look exactly like the wheels that are in real life. Just make sure they're bulletproof. This is going to cost you $25,000 and unlock during 20. And the windows, you don't need to add a tint. I'm going to add just a slightly dark light smoke tint to them. But there you have it. So it came out looking kind of like the state police cars from California. So, yeah, to activate the lights and sirens, you just press on the left analog stick, and that turns them on. So, yeah, that's how you make the state, uh, the state of California's police crown vic. So, I like the way it, it turned out. It's not too bad. So, there's also a different variant of it, which I'm also going to show you. So what I did was I just made the white one. There's also a um, black and white one. From what I've seen online, I actually looked up all state police cruisers, and this the, these are the ones that came up for California. So if they're wrong, you just let me know in the comments. Um, but the other one that you can do is. When you go down to the respray, I, I want to say it's primary color. Yeah, primary color. You just make it black, and you'll end up with, end up with it looking like this, with the number showing and the state trooper thing showing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also make a state highway patrol car if you wanted to. That one's really easy. You just go over to library and hit highway patrol. So, but there's all sorts of different um, libraries you can choose from. LSPD, LSPD medical examiner, crime scene unit, canine transport or canine unit, 
prisoner transport, modern, state trooper, state highway patrol, uh, Ellis County Sheriff, uh, Richmond PD, Airport PD, Rockford Hills PD, Del Perro PD, Davis PD, Port Authority, Grapeseed PD, Polito Bay PD, the um, Ellis PD Light, State Trooper Light, Highway Patrol Light, County Sheriff Light, uh, Los Angeles County Park Ranger, Park Ranger Canine Unit, uh, Ellis PD Stealth, Highway Patrol Stealth, Sheriff Stealth. So there's all sorts of different ones you can go to. Uh, I'm actually going to have the Highway Patrol on this one this time though. So, but yeah. So that seemed like a, a California State uh, police car as well as the Highway Patrol. Um, so, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I know a lot of, and like I said, this was actually a request from some guy or somebody. Uh, he said that, you know, they said that basically since California or Los Santos is located in modern day Southern California. I, sh I should make a California State Police Cruiser, so that's what I did. So, yep. In the meantime, I hope you all liked this video, and I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, I know I'm looking forward to the work week, because, like I said, I only work two days a week. This, this week, I took a couple of vacation days. So, that's pretty much it. In the meantime, don't forget to... It hits that like and subscribe button and leave a comment about what you think of the video. And if you have any requests for cars, just leave them in the comments and I will get to them. And, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm usually on Twitch a couple times a week for maybe an hour to two hours. I was actually on earlier... Um, or I was actually on last night on Black Ops 3 with my friend Crazy Donkey Hole. Uh, we were doing prop hunt, which is cool. Real quick, I'm actually going to do the stash house. And that picture. Yep, I just broke my head up. So these stash houses um, are, give, are located all around the map. They're identified as a purple house icon with a black uh, target on them. And G will tell you to, to raid them. So basically that's pretty much it you just have to take out these guys and then you have to look around because there's the safe you just have to look around for a little white sticky or get little yellow sticking like this they'll have a number this one says 77 79 73 so once you get the combination you just come over here to the safe press right on d-pad to break into it and you use the um, d-pad to put in numbers up down t does that uh, so 77 78 I think 73 it's always very important you, re you remember the combination 77 79 73 okay yeah, just press right on the D-pad. 77. 79. 73. And then once you put in the combination, you just press A. Wow, this guy got blown into the safe. Okay. Yeah, you just press A and you'll steal the safe contents. Now when you leave, you will be confronted by a by some men showing up in their cars. So at that point, you really want to get out of here. 
like those. The bigger the red dot means that they're in a vehicle. The smaller one means that they're not in a vehicle. So. But that's pretty much it. Once you get it, you just have to leave the area. So. And there you go. You'll get a thousand dollars and you will it will say what you stole. So we just stole some weed supplies, so. In the meantime, hope you all like this video. Um, hope you all have a good night. As I said before, don't forget to leave a comment about what you think of the video. And if you have a request for a new, for another police car or state police or whatever, or even a movie car, just feel free to send it. And don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Snapchat. I mean, to Josh19. And you all have a good night and a good week. And I'll see you all next time. Later.